You guys caught me completely by surprise. So this is my living room. Um, we are still redecorating, so I said I was gonna do a full after tour, but I decided that was gonna take too long before I got everything I wanted ready. So I decided to take you guys along on the tour now. Uh, when you walk in, we have this little entranceway. It's pretty much the same as our last house, but this is new. I love this little basket from Anthropology. Um, and then over here, we have our very cool 70s fireplace, which I was not sure I liked at first, but it's really grown on me and I kind of think it's a statement now. I think eventually I want to get some sort of, what would you call it, artwork for on top of here, but I'm not sure. I think something gold and like spiky <laughs> would be good here. Anyways, this is our living room complete with lots of baby toys um, this ottoman is new right here um, I'll have a link to it down below because it was a really good price and I really like it because it rolls around on wheels it's great to put your feet up on but also acts as a coffee table and the best part about it it's like the perfect laundry folding station because everything fits on top of it it's pretty nice I'm still decorating in here I want to get a few more pillows for the sofas and then a nice big area rug because we do have hardwood floors now. They're real hardwood floors. And it's just not the best for the babies to play on. So I do want to get a nice big area rug for this area. Um, we had the same sofa from our old house, but we just bought a new love seat that matches it. And so now we have a lot more seating space in our living room. It's really nice. Um, this was also in Marcus's room. It's from Ikea. And now, the coolest part is we have a little space. You come over this way. For the first time in my YouTube career, I have a little office space, which is really nice because I can leave all my stuff here and not have to put it away every time. Um, I do my bill paying here, and it's just nice to have my own little space to keep everything. Now, if you'll follow me this way, so it's kind of nice that it, the living room flows right into the dining room. The same table we had over at the old place, but it is getting really small for our family, so that's another thing I want to upgrade before too long. We'll have to wait until we can fit a table and chairs in the budget, because that's going to be really expensive. Anyways, follow me this way into our kitchen. Now, this isn't the most exciting kitchen, but it does have a lot more counter space, and um, I even have somewhat of a pantry. It's really nice to be in a house because there's just so much more room and storage space. And I do love our new stove because it's gas and not electric. Gas is my favorite to cook with. Um, follow me this way, I'll show you the bedrooms. So on this half of the house, we have Marcus's bedroom and my mom's bedroom. Um, hers is right in there. Marcus is napping, so I will show you his, but after he wakes up. And over here we have the guest bathroom, which if you notice, all the trim on this side of the house is wooden colored. And our landlord said, we are renting, by the way, our landlord said that we can paint. So one day I'm gonna just spend the day painting all of this. I already painted some of the living room, I'll show you. So I already painted this door and this door and their trim and then the trim around that window. So I think it will really make everything look so much nicer once all the trim is painted white. If you'll follow me this way. <laughs> so on this side of the house is the master bedroom. This was originally a two, uh, two bedroom, two bath, but they converted the den into another bedroom, which is awesome because it's kind of a little bit more out of the way and apart from the rest of the house. Um, you'll pass through our laundry room. Right in here we have the washer and dryer. Um, it's just really tiny, but it works. And then behind this curtain is a shelf I put in with all my cleaning products, laundry products, and baskets and stuff. This is Marcus and Chloe's bouncy seat. It's just kind of hidden behind there. It's kind of perfect in this doorway too. Um, this is just where all I, ha I have all my crafts in these cupboards 
and then there are these shelves here. This is kind of a cool little area. It's a little bit different, but I kind of like it. So, sorry. So we just came out of the living room over to here. If you guys are getting a little bit disoriented, I apologize. It's just kind of tiny and we're trying to film everything. This is the master bath, which is really tiny. It's not a master bath at all, but um, it's nice to have our own private space. I'm not going to tour this, however, because this is the room that is the closest to being um, decorated like the way I've been planning it to be and I will do a full bathroom tour in a whole video as soon as I'm done decorating I think I only need like two or three pieces to go in there and then I will show you guys so stay tuned for that video and then come on in to my bedroom I'm gonna talk a little bit quieter because Chloe's actually sleeping on my bed and um, I love the light in here this is why it's my choice of room to film in you guys have seen my bedspread and everything before because from all my videos here. So my bedspread is from Target and I really love it. I'll link it down below as well as that pillow is something I just added. Um, our everything else is pretty much the same from the from the apartment. So over here I have my cute little morning quiet time slash nursing Chloe station. Um, usually I have a basket down here with all her nursing stuff but um, I moved that for taking some pictures, so it's not usually this beautiful, but right now it is, and I really like it, so I'm gonna leave it there as long as I can. Um, anyways, so yes, this is our master bedroom. We have one closet over there, and then behind you, it looks like it's another closet, but really that's where the hot water heater and furnace is. So yeah, not two closets unfortunately, but what can you do? Anyways, my favorite feature about our bedroom is that it opens up into the backyard. Yes, there's a little sleeping baby. Um, this opens up into the backyard, so I think in the spring and summer mornings, I'm going to have my quiet time out here. It will be wonderful. I all the time have this door open when Marcus is playing because I can keep an eye on him that way and I can still be in my room doing whatever I need to. So I'm going to show you our backyard, which is one of our favorite parts of having a home. Marcus loves it. But come on out here, just don't look behind my bed because I may have thrown all my clutter back there. Did you look? No. So we have a really nice back deck. It is kind of multicolored because it's an old deck, but it's really nice and big. We eventually want to get some furniture, some patio furniture out here. But for now, we just have these two chairs, which are nice, that Daniel's sister gave to us when she was visiting. So Jen, if you're watching, thank you for our patio furniture. Um, then over here is our barbecue. <laughs> Actually, don't film the barbecue because oh, okay. it's really messy. Um, this is the backyard. It's just really beautiful. I love this tree. Um, I want to hang a train, a uh, swing in it for Marcus. And yeah, he's, it's fully fenced. It's got grass and Marcus just loves to play out here. It is so, so nice. So one feature I forgot to mention of this house when I was in the kitchen is that right off like right in front of the kitchen sink is this very 70s window here but I actually kind of like it because I have all my herbs here there's my grow collaborative caddy in there with some sage and rosemary and then I have some basil that I just got from Trader Joe's and yeah it's kind of grown on me and even though it's very dated it's kind of a nice thing to have so Marcus is awake from his nap now so we thought we'd show you his bedroom this is the last room that I need to decorate. It's kind of the only one I haven't really touched, but um, we have a screen here. This is an antique dresser from my grandma that we've had in the apartment. You just hadn't seen it. Um, his changing station. I'm going to be hanging some shelves here, uh, which I have over here in the corner. And this chair is actually my sister's, but it goes really well with the room. So she asked me to store it, and I thought it would be perfect for in here. Um, and then we have this area, which is going to be like a toy play area. I want to get a nice area rug so that there's something other than hardwood floor in case he falls or something. You may recognize this. This is where, um, this was our coffee table in our apartment, but now it's his toy chest. I might recover it or something, do a deal, do a DIY on that. So let me know if you guys want to see that. I want to put a couple bookshelves here where he can reach them, the kind that just kind of are against the wall you guys know what I mean um, where the we'll just stack some books that they lay flat that's what I'm trying to say um, this was from my baby shower I just thought it looks cute on the wall here 
Um, yeah, but we really need to do a lot of decorating in this room. I want it to be a really fun... He's just playing. I want it to be a really fun playroom and just like a peaceful place for him to sleep and stuff too. So there's a lot to be done in this room and I'll do a whole tour when I'm finished. Oh, and also we need to paint the trim and the closet in here as well. Anyways, so that's the end of my house tour. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the before I am finished decorating video. <laughs> And keep in mind that I will be touring my bathroom as soon as I finish decorating it. And if you're new to my channel, um, please don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss out on any of my upcoming content. Thank you so much for stopping by and visiting with me as I tour my house. I hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.